Now! Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken no more. Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One, the will that is Corypheus. You will kneel. You'll... you'll get nothing out of me. You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you was touched, what you flailed at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heaven. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The gore. have always cried thus. Praise me, for I would end the silence that answers. I once breached the fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own. The champion withered to Vintern, correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Ah! The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. You expect us to surrender and kneel. We will not. You'll face us all. When we choose.
there. the maker. What would you have me tell them? This isn't what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. They're arguing about what we do next. I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we, perhaps, must come to believe. Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. 
You can't match that with hope alone. army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause, or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived, nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. If you've something that will help us, now's the time. Yes. Judging by the faithful, now is the time. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow,
They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus, what drew him to you. This all began with Andraste's blessing. It was that simple. Yet did her blessing grant you worthiness? Or was it given because you were already worthy? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. 
All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. It's unanimous. You all have that much confidence in me? All of these people have their lives because of you. They will follow. That wasn't the question. I will not lie. Handing this power to anyone is troubling. But I have to believe this is meant to be. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have, and soon the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Could he strike at us here? We can't have a repeat of what happened at Haven. Skyhold has the bones to withstand Corypheus. After what you did with one trebuchet, I'd bet against direct attack. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Sandra is going to kill him. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. If you shut your mouth and opened your eyes, you'd see that the Inquisition is our one hope. No 
What did they make down here? What can I make? Forge like then. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place. Now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. <laughs> 